In this mini chat tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to build out a message flow that is going to get people as a messenger bot subscriber. It's going to get their email address and it's going to get their phone number. And in exchange, your Facebook fan page is going to be giving them a free PDF download, a free video walkthrough and a free 30 minute consultation. But first I wanted to tell you about a free PDF download and video walkthrough that we offer that is talking about the 11 crucial features that your ManyChat Messenger bot must have. Now, if you wanna download this PDF and video walkthrough, all you gotta do is go to bit.ly slash mccheatsheet. That's bit.ly slash mccheatsheet, and we will send you this in a Facebook message when the Facebook message window opens, be sure to type in the keyword learn. Now, just to give you an idea of how value packed this PDF download and video walkthrough is, we spent hours, at least 20 hours, putting together this PDF and video, editing it all up, building the landing page and making it very easy for you to digest all this information so that you can fully understand all of the features that your mini chat messenger bot must have inside of it. So be sure to get this free download that we offer. Okay, so here we are in the mini chat platform inside the growth tools section. Now this whole growth tool, this entire flow is going to start with the messenger ref URL growth tool. So we're going to click on that right there. And we're going to edit, let's just call this big flow. The opt-in message is going to always be, I always like to make it kind of a confirmation type of opt-in message. So usually I say, hey, first name, did you want to get our, to get, and then maybe we do a colon, and maybe we do a little emoji. Did you want to get our, PDF guide. Now, what I'm thinking for this mini chat message flow sequence is this is going to be tailored for personal trainers. So I got my athletic shirt on right now. I'm feeling like a personal trainer. So I got to get in the mindset and the headspace of a personal trainer because this is going to be me acting like a personal trainer, giving away some free value in this message flow. So you're going to get our PDF guide on how to lose 30 pounds, 30 LBs in let's say 30 days, is that reasonable? Yeah, let's say it. We are that confident in our personal training skills and nutritional abilities. That's a big, I mean, 30 pounds in 30 days, that's, that's pretty quick. All right, so you're gonna get the PDF and our video walkthrough because everybody wants to be walked through the PDF in a video, you know, you can go in depth, you can give more value in that video than just PDFs. And, and you know, who really is a big fan of reading? I mean, reading's okay, don't get me wrong, but uh, video, it's my faves right there. So you're gonna get the video walkthrough going deeper in depth uh, <laughs> on the PDF. When you build your own out, if you build something out just like this, I highly recommend you be super legit with your copy. This is super legit copy right here. All right, so you're gonna get the PDF guide, you're gonna get the video walkthrough, and you're gonna get a free, I always write free in all caps, by the way, so maybe you copy that, maybe you do it also, I don't know. Our free, a free uh, 30 minute uh, training session. Sure, why not? A free 30 minute training session. Then we always wanna tell them to click the button below. Now, if you're ready to get started. And then let's do a little emoji pointing down. Yes, I'm ready is the button text and then that is going to trigger a flow. So the reason why I have it triggering a flow is because then I can easily change out the growth tool to make the growth tool be a pop-up box, to be any of the different growth tools. There's a ton of different growth tools. Okay, so if I have different growth tools, then I may just wanna change that opt-in message and then all those opt-in messages will basically push them into this same flow, right? So we're just gonna have it start a flow. So we gotta just, so I guess I gotta actually start a new flow in another section, I can't just start a new flow there. So we're just gonna call this the big flow, right? That's what we're going with for this one. 
So they're going to click on yes, I'm ready. And then they're going to say this message right here. They're going to see this great. Let's hit them with another emoji. Great. And you can also put in gifts and stuff like that. For this tutorial, I'm not going to put in gifts. If you want to put in gifts, it's as easy as clicking this image button or a card or something and then making the image be a GIF. But uh, great. First, the PDF guide. Click the button below now to download it. Download PDF. And then we'll just link them over to a website. And it's just going to be a download link. We can either put the download link in a Google Drive, or you could put it to a landing page, or you could put it anywhere. So that is already done. We're going to give them the PDF right away. And then we're going to hit them with a little delay. So a little five second delay so that they can read this message and understand it. And then we're going to hit them with another message saying, if you want the video walkthrough, just give us your email address and we'll send it right over. Click the button below now. I cannot type. If that sounds good. And let's do another little finger pointing down. Send the video. Or maybe we just say, sounds good. So then they click on sounds good and that sends them this message right here. I always like to title my messages so that I don't get lost. So we're gonna say sounds good. And then we're gonna use a user input because we want their email address. So we add in the user input and then we delete the text that was just created. What's your email address? And then we wanna make this reply type an email and we wanna always make the custom field email. Now, if you want to make the email address required, then you got to be sure to delete the skip button that may show up if they type in anything but their email address. So we'll say, you know, we erase the skip button. If they type in no thanks or they type in a wrong email address, then they'll get this message that says, please enter a correct email address, e.g. me at mail.com. So that is cool. And then we hit them with another message that is going to get them to give us their phone number. Awesome. Be sure to check your inbox and junk folder in the next three minutes for that email. So now what is happening in the background is this email custom field is going to trigger a Zapier automation that I've already got set up the Zapier automation is constantly checking that custom field and whenever a new user or whenever a new custom field response has been filled out, Zapier pulls that information and immediately sends it over to my CRM and then my CRM, whenever somebody is added to a list, there is immediately an automatic email that is sent to them that is going to send them the link to this video walkthrough. So we are all good there. If you're building this out along with me, then make sure that you head over to Zapier now and build out that zap to check that custom field and pull in the email and send it over. Also, in order to set up your zap, make sure that you have an email actually in there because it's got to pull a test email from there. And then you'll have to set up the automatic message to be sent over to MailChimp. So now the next message, we're going to collect their phone numbers. So we're just going to confirm and say, awesome. Be sure to check your inbox and junk folder in the next three minutes for that email. And then we're going to say now, for your 30 minute training session, dot, dot, dot. What is the best number to reach you at so we can set up a good time to work out? And then, so you have two options here. You can either do the text or you can do the phone. Now the phone, if they enter an invalid phone number, they're gonna be hit with this message right here. And then they can also have the option to skip if they wanna skip it. You know, what's the point in asking a question if you're gonna make it optional? Just kidding. So it's up to you if you want to include them to be able to skip it or not. Um, then you also have to create your custom field. Me personally, I like to just leave this reply type as text because sometimes if their phone number is weird or if they type it in maybe with parentheses or not parentheses or a dash or something, I don't want to, them to have any issues and stuff. So I just leave it as text. And then for the custom field, we just type in phone number. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a tag. So now we have our, their name. We got their first and last name from Facebook. We got their email and we got their phone number. So now I already have a tag created called name number email. 
So when this tag is now added to them because they've given me their name, number, and email, now I'll be able to receive an immediate email notification via Zapier. So Zapier is going to see that this tag has been added. It is going to immediately pull this information out of ManyChat and then notify me directly via email. And then I can either text them right away or I can call them up or I can shoot them an email or I can even jump into Messenger and just message them right away to coordinate setting up a good time for their personal training consultation. So now you pretty much just wanna say, uh, confirmation message so you can say great you're all set be on the lookout for a call or text from me have an amazing day we gotta throw in the emojis and maybe the hang loose sign that's cool so now what i have not done well i gotta hit publish and now i oh let's just type in google.com here so now that flow is all built out and then we're gonna head over to our growth tools because we need to connect that messenger ref URL opt-in message with this flow. So we go over to growth tools, we go to big flow, jump in there, yes, I'm ready. Now that is gonna start a flow and I believe I called it big flow. So I click on that flow and we're gonna select that flow. So now we publish that and now let's go ahead and do a test run to make sure that everything is working out and that I'm collecting all the information that I need. So I click on preview and that is going to send me that first message in the automation. All right, so here's the message right here. Hey Ian, did you want to get our free PDF, our video walkthrough, our free 30 minute session? Click the button below now if you're ready. So I say, yes, I'm ready. And they send me over, great. Here's the download link to the PDF go ahead and grab it. So I can download that if I want to. If you want the video walkthrough, just give us your email address and we'll send it over. Click the button now if that sounds good. So I say, cool, that sounds good. And then they hit me with a, what's your email address? And then I'm gonna type in, actually my email address has already been populated because they're pulling it from Facebook. So I'm just gonna click that button right there. And then they say, awesome. Be sure to check your inbox and junk folder in the next three minutes for that email. Now, for your 30 minute training session, because we say it right here, 30 minute training session, what's the best number to reach you at so we can set up a good time to work out? Oh, my number, it is 999-888-7654. That's my number. Call me right there, right now. So that is how you build out a messenger bot that is going to collect their name, email, and phone number now you can, just like what I did, I walled it so that we're giving away three things for free, but in order to get all three things, you gotta give us your email, your phone number, and you already opted in to the Messenger bot, so you're guaranteed the PDF. So instead of giving it all away at once, you can kind of wall it, and with your copy, you want to word things the best way so that it doesn't sound slimy, or you don't wanna ruffle any feathers by you know, opting them in, t telling them that they're gonna get it all free right away. Um, so it's kind of just like, hey, if you want these free things, let's just get a little bit more information from you. You kind of want to have an excuse for giving them the free thing. So it's like, oh, well, we'll send it to you through email because email is the best way to X, Y, Z, you know? Um, so hopefully this video has been helpful for you in building out a flow, kind of maybe gives you an idea of how to build out your message flows using the opt-in message, then putting them into that message flow. And then maybe it also gives you an idea for how you can collect more information from your actual audience and be able to provide the best amount of value for them. Before I wrap things up, I wanted to remind you about our free mini chat cheat sheet. Now this cheat sheet is 100% free, like I just said. So if you wanna get it, go to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. That's bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. Going to that link is going to trigger a Facebook message to be sent to you. And when you receive that Facebook message, type the word learn, and then that is going to send you a message and it's going to take you through the steps in getting that free PDF download and the video walkthrough going deep in depth on the 11 crucial many chat features that your messenger bot needs to have. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.